ladies and gentlemen, the one and only... Africa World of Nigeria, it feels exciting to be back with you on Nigerian Presents. Yes, your one-stop station in Africa that gives you the best of contemporary music, yeah, contemporary African music. And guess what? The much-anticipated event is right here in Lagos State, Nigeria. It was in Durban, South Africa. It was in Nairobi, Kenya. And now the train has just moved into Lagos. It, it is the MTV All-Stars Party taking place right here in Lagos. And we're expecting wonderful, sassy, smart performances from the best of the best of Nigerian K-pop and Afro-pop artists like Two Face Dibia, Davido, as well as Ice Queen Zamani, DJ Jimmy Chat, and then the special guest of honor for today is South Africa's professor. We're, we're in for a big break, we're in for surprises. We're going to be talking with different celebrities on the red carpet who will be talking to us about the event and every other thing you need to know about it. So stay tuned. You know, something that's really struck me at the press conference Alex Okusi talked about um, tourism, trying to infuse tourism into entertainment. What's your take on that? I think it's very important. I think too long, it's been too long since Africa has been seen as this kind of country that nobody really wants to go to and no one, no one really understands and there's so much poverty in it. But there's so much beauty in Africa. There's so much life in Africa, music, entertainment. We're really, really doing it. And I think people need to come and see it for themselves, for how great it is in Africa. So, for me, darling. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Hi. How are you feeling at this point in time? Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, what informs your style for tonight? Actually, like your outfit, the piece you're wearing, it's lovely, and Kara, what informs your style? My own creation. It came up, yeah, me and my mom, we made it. Because I'm trying to, like, incorporate African stuff with European stuff. And right now, I'm feeling hoodies, so I'm creating Ankara hoodies for myself. Looking at the platform Nigeria and so many other TV channels have created for contemporary African music to be showcased, what's your take on it, first and foremost? It's good because by the end of the day, we're supporting our own talent, homegrown talent. But then there's still a lot of avenue for improvement in different aspects, not just TV, radio, but also the artists and the talents themselves. I do hope you have a fantastic time on the red carpet. Definitely. It's been nice. My pleasure. Nice just Thank you. Alex, I have a lot of questions for you, yes. but I just want to take two questions. questions yes, well. Alex, it's good to have you first and foremost on the red carpet. MTV is always churning out different ideas, different concepts, different platforms to showcase Nigerian artists. First and foremost, this has to do with tourism, right? You know what, it has to do with tourism because we're partnering with a great province, KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. Um, they are obviously looking to showcase their, their province to the world, and, it, and, and what a beautiful province it is. And I'm not just saying that because we're partnering with them. As MTV, of course, we need to make sure whoever we're partnering with is worth it and for them it's a great province but I think more importantly they also see the vision and the vision is to really provide a great platform to promote great contemporary African artists so that's why we came up with this all-stars campaign when we, we started in Durban we've been to Kenya we're now in Lagos we're gonna go back to Durban with a major concert that as I mentioned we broadcast on all our MTVs across the world over a billion people will get access to be able to watch this programming I don't think you can get a better promotional vehicle for the talent and I'm just excited that Durban, they have the vision enough to be able to see this as a great opportunity for tourism, but also more importantly believe in, in the artists and the music to want to participate in this. Woo! It feels so good. Um, I love rocking out and I love meeting all the artists. Um, it's going to be a great show. We've got the lineup, David O, Ice Prince, Two Face. Those three alone, you know, are going to kill the show. And then on top of that, we've got a professor who I've never seen perform. And I do love my South African house music. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing him as well. MTV Base always bring it. You know they know how to party hard. So, yeah, I'm ready to party with them. Hi, my name is Fade from the Beat 99.9 FM. Shout out to everybody that loves watching Nigeezy. Beverly, how do you do? I'm good, thank you. You're Very looking well. all pinky, pinky, pinky. Bad. Pink, right? Like a Pepto-Bismol bottle. I don't know. Just something I just wanted to put on today. Just something simple. Okay, so what inspired your style actually? Nothing at all, honestly. Just, I didn't have anything to wear. So I was like, okay, what's the event about? Okay, it's obviously MTV. So look urban and sexy. So that's how I came up with this. If you're looking at, you're in the, in the movie industry, that's Nollywood, but if you're looking at the music industry, the music industry is growing in leaps and bounds. We're growing more contemporary, we're growing more global. Yeah. Now, what do you think, I mean, how do we maintain this position from your own perspective, from your own point of view? How do we continually get to the top of where we belong? Well, honestly speaking, I think we need to just 
continue try our best to be innovative i mean i know something may work for a particular artist but it's not necessarily going to work for all the artists that we have and sometimes i feel like our music is a bit repetitive so i think if we are more innovative with our um, sounds with our beats and with our um with this with the music in general then i think it will help our industry to um grow and will therefore be exposed to the international market as well what up guys you are watching nigezi stay locked stay tuned and stay happy Mwah. beverly naya okay oh my goodness okay we have one of the officials from the creative team of mtv base it's good to have you here Yes, it's very good to be here at it's my right. own event. I was going to say that. Yeah, it's nice so, to have you here. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So how are you feeling at this point in time? Feeling very good, man. We're just warming up. The evening's getting started. We had the press conference earlier, which went very well. I'm glad Nigezi's here. Nigezi's like family, you know? Music is a mission, not a competition. So we're all doing the same thing. We're all trying to promote African music. That's what tonight's about. So it's great that everyone's come out to do the same thing, you know? I feel incredibly happy. I mean, we've been... You know, you guys have been doing it as well. We've been doing it since 2005. We've been trying to push this African music thing, get it out there globally, get it to spread within our own continent. So, so when we get to this level and it's really starting to happen, I get goosebumps even when I'm talking about it for real because this is what I live for. This is what our brands live for. This is what all of us in this game live for. So to see it actually happening is just very emotional. It's very, it's incredible. You wow, know? when I look at your hair, I mean, it causes so much stirs. Like, everybody just wants to know. Tell us about your hair. My dada. Yeah, your dada. I bought my dada yesterday here in Nigeria. It was on a sale. So I was just a normal Oibo guy yesterday. I bought this. It cost me 2,000 Naira per dread. I put it on now. Everyone thinks I'm cool and I'm Rasta, you know. So, that, so that's how so I got Are you going to maintain this? Of course now. So to one of the best TV stations in Nigeria, in Africa, you know what it is. It's Nigezi. I wish I was extremely Nigerian, but I'm getting there. So big ups to the extremely Nigerian Nigezi. One love, man. Big up, big up. Keep doing what you do. Bless. It's good having you on the red carpet. You know, yeah. I've been looking forward to meeting you at events. So I'm glad that you're here. Tell us about your latest music. Uh, show me your rosé. It's a show song. Your it's, yeah, it's a show-off song. Like, I don't like it when people are in club and they're like, Where are Rosie? Show me your Rosie. It's supposed to show off. So that's what it's all about. It's a fun song. You know, that's what it is. Yeah. So what inspires the music? You've talked about the uh, fact that you do not like the uh, conventional, yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the inspiration behind that particular song is me, myself. I am a fun person. I don't, I don't like... You know, when I'm in the midst of people and everybody is so, so serious, you know. The inspiration is, I sit in the crowd and I look around. What do people like to hear? Everybody wants to show off, you know. So if you don't have rosé, you should go home, you know what I mean? What inspires your style? I mean, I like your pants, I like your shoes, I like your belt. Uh, it's all about needles and stitches and my clothing line, you know. I wear no one but needles and stitches, isn't it? <laughs> now, looking at all these innovations, how do you think we can further sustain the platform that has been created for Nigerian artists? Well, no, apart from good musical videos, well, audio matters a lot too. Then, you know, consistency, creativity. Let's come out with nice concepts, something very, very different, unique, you know, spectacular. Where's can even describe? We should come out, we should be doing more of good music, you understand? And I believe with that, this guy's this guy going to be the, the stepping stone. <laughs> you know, you've been talking and talking and talking all the way. It's good to have you now talk on my camera. Yes, I'm happy to be talking on your camera. <laughs> it's good to have you on the show, darling. <laughs> Thank you. How are you feeling at this point in time? Um, I'm really excited. I can't wait to go inside. Uh, I, it's been a long day and I really, really want to shake a leg. So yeah, I'm looking forward to dancing. First and foremost, your style. I mean, who are you wearing? I'm wearing Remy Buttons tonight. She's somewhere in the building. She was standing here. She was not wearing blue. This is Remy Buttons all the way. All of this on my neck is from my friend Nina. I went to her house and I just stole everything. You know what is yours to be yours? I see her first. I carry her. I wear them. I'm wearing my sister's belt. Boy. The box itself is not even my own. The leather jeans, and this is from my wonderful friend, Goldie. This is too, Goldie, Goldie. I always wear a piece of Goldie everywhere I go. I mean, not like I'm trying to invoke sympathy or anything, but she lives with me, she lives around me. And I know she's here right now. Goldie, where are you there? I see her there. I say this anywhere, any day. Our Nigerian artists can stand side by side with the American ones. Why? The Americans have everything planned for them. But you see the Nigerian artist wakes up in the morning, he writes a song, produces it himself, looks for money to shoot his video, almost directs it himself, runs around distributing the video and the songs to radio and TV stations, hustles for shows, and can still be as creative as possible and puts out good material. Whereas on the other side, the international side, everything is done for them. So if, if we can do all of that and still be as creative as possible and still even fizzle our mother tongue if we choose to, 
all well and good. Me, I go with the flow. It's actually been a fun field time out here on the red carpet. We've been talking to different fashionistas, celebrities. You've seen different people from different walks of life. Yes, their style, their concept, they've read their minds and their opinions on their musical choices, their best artists, the persons they're anticipating to see. It's really hot in here. I think we've actually had enough on the red carpet. And let's just go in and see what's happening inside. Now, Jizzy, remember, keep it real.